In life, you need to make sure that you pick your friends carefully, because at the snap of your fingers, things can turn to crap in an instant. The person you call a mate, or a friend, or a pal, will do things that you could never ever dream of. 39-year-old Chirag Amir and his friend, 28-year-old Mohammed Moyadeen, were in a Toyota Prius as they sat waiting outside a flat in Carlington High Street, West London, on Halloween of last year, with non soul shirts. Now the flats the group of men convened at was a known drug spot according to police where people would both deal and take substance. Now the night before the fatal shooting, Chirag Amir and 29 year old Mohammed Shakil had been at the flat on Harlington High Street where an argument took place between another group of men. And of course these people are all the same so of course it's one group of GMs versus another group of GMs. Now after the argument Chirag was angry and I mean he was frothing at the mouth. He decided to arm himself with a submachine gun that was equipped with a silencer. He then called Mohammed Moyadeen and that was how all the men had convened outside the flat on Harlington High Street the next day, which was Halloween now. Now Chirag opened the car door and sat in the back. He explained what he wanted to happen. Now directly in front of Chirag Amir was Mohammed Moyadeen. He was sitting in the front passenger seat. The weapon went off and of course, Mohammed was hit. The 28-year-old was severely injured, and it proved fatal. Now once the shooting took place, the silencer fell off, and even when Chirag actually got out of the car, more shots went off as well. Now the next part is a true testament of friendship. Instead of calling an ambulance, or police, or trying to save his friend's life, Chirag Amir dumped the car and got a 17-year-old to set it alight. After dumping his own friend, 28-year-old Mohammed, Muyadeen in a ditch near Heathrow Airport. It was actually a taxi driver whom later discovered a lifeless Mohammed. Now of course all three men were arrested and of course Chirag Amir tried to claim that he was holding a weapon for someone else and that it was an accident that his friend had passed away and of course all three men had been found guilty and they are due to be sentenced on February 10th. That also includes the 17 year old boy that set the car alight. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.